So why do you feel like more um, the more artistic uh, side of our culture, um, black culture? Why do you think? Why do you think that is not a uh, as talked about or looked down upon in our community? Because if it's not outside of that normal box that we consider cool, yeah, or we consider you know this is player or this is whatever if it's outside that box then you know people might not take to it as quick because yeah. you know it's the unknown it's not it's n everybody's not doing it right you know what i mean so you so if you take a uh a, a, a path less follow then you, you're gonna get some resistance on that you know what I'm saying? It's just, you know, people people not used to that. So because they're not used to it and it's outside their comfort zone, and then that's when they come with the, you know, the projecting, the projecting and the shit. You know, I can't do what I want to do or I can't follow my heart's desire. So no, what you're doing is crabs in the barrel, basically. Yeah, and, it's, and that's kind of a common theme with our, uh, in our culture. I kind of like I've always... Uh, like accounted for or credited to like maybe slavery, like, you know, having that mentality where it's like, I have to put myself in a certain advantage to where this white person or this person that is my superior sees me in a certain light versus what my peer or my brother or my sister look at me like. So I kind of always accredited to that. I'm not a person that tries to make um, racism an excuse I mean, we still live through it to this day, but I just look at it as that's the founder foundation. No, I, I I feel like I'm better than you, so I can prove to this other person that I'm better than you. I mean, you know, insecurity, you know, comes in this way. Designer, yeah. designer fashion, you know, how you might talk to somebody, you know what I mean? Like insecurities, they basically show at the cracks. And, you know, once them cracks get to showing at the seam, you know, it's you can't basically put the cat back in the bag like you know it's insecurities you know you know people are not confident with themselves they're not confident in their abilities so they gonna you know knock who you are and what you want to do and who you are naturally just because they're not happy with themselves you know what I'm saying? It, it seemed like nowadays it seemed like it's a little bit more um the standard to be a follower than to be a leader like a lot of the people who have the most outstanding, more profound takes on life are now being silenced on social media. They get the platform. They are being like, you know, blackball, blackball, using millions and millions of dollars, and dollars. For deals. I mean, you look. Let's talk about it. The, the Kyrie situation. He all he did was post a link to a movie, and was almost walked out of the league. Yeah. Um, I mean, even though even though some of the stuff that's in that movie to me is hidden truth some of the stuff that was said in the movie people are looking at they're looking at some of the the shock value of of what it is and then instead of the the true message uh, our, our yeah. culture has been stolen and the symbolism and different things have been taken for years and years and years and it, it brings new meaning yeah, because, um, you know, there's just, you know, a specific set of people that are tied into, like, specific positions, in, you know, in, in this culture. And, you know, unfortunately, you know, um, clout and saving face takes more value than, you know, honesty. And that's just where we're at <laughs> with it. You know, yeah. they would rather save face then just be 100% honest, like, you know what, we fucked up, that was our bad. Because I fucked up and my bad and accountability weighs less than clout. And but, see, they, but, see, they, but see, they call us a little different because it's, it's easy to not save face when you're still going to be a billionaire no matter what. That's a good point. Like, they can take, though, they can take a certain amount of percentage of the millions from the people that we're speaking about right. and they can be blackballed and you'll never hear from them again. It's players that, uh, you know, we back in the day that they that's got black ball that you'll never you if you you'll think about him like damn he was Muhammad cold. Raul, um, mm -hmm. uh, what, what was his dog name? He was point guard for the uh, Denver Nuggets back then. Look at that. Uh, he, I think he, Abdul Rahif. 
Um, yep, yep, yep. He yeah. took a stand. Hey, and then if you, I'm gonna be honest with you, it's it's an untold thing. Craig and, Rogers too, yeah. No, uh, what's his name? Uh, he was the coach for the Warriors before Steve Kerr. Oh, uh, the black guy. I, I can't get it. Mark, uh, Mark Jackson. Yeah, I think that's his last name. He 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 was too religious. He made his players pray. Not like, okay, hey, we about to pray. He like that deacon daddy, like, hey, sit your ass down right here, we're gonna pray. And then when one of the newer owners of the or the Warriors, you know, um identified as homosexual, you know, on this platform, we don't talk about right. people right. and, and the, people had the choice to do what they want to do. But in his case, he was strongly against it. He was damn near the coach of the year, but his last season we gave him, he got him to fifty something wins. It went from fifty to like sixty, seventy wins the next season. Right, that's when uh, Steve uh, Baron, that was when Baron uh, Davis and Stephen Jackson. Um, mm -mm, that was that was that was Steph Curry and Clay. Oh, that was okay. That was before. That was the, that was the, okay. that was the same that, that was the same season where he told the world at least the, the best two shooters in the NBA. Okay, all right. Now I remember what you're talking about. Now he he spoke life into those two. Second generation NBA players, people don't look at that. No, but but he was quietly it. he was quietly took out the lead because of his stance yes. and his things that he you know wasn't gonna budge on, which yeah. goes back to your point. Yeah, and that's and that's another thing too. Like you know, again, that may be your truth. You know, you may stand ten toes on that truth, but if that truth offends a certain selection of whoever, then you know, consequences are going to, you know...